Well, on his part, Executive Director of the Dankwa Institute, Richard Ahiagba, said the arrangement is separate from the party's manifesto commitment. Polls in June. Richard able to fulfill that, but the present conversation has no bearing on that, in my estimation. So I don't think we want to begin to speculate whether or not government is going to fulfill uh, that promise or has departed from it. I don't want to engage that conversation. Let's do the policy discussion of a Japa and what it represents. I, I, to but, 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 but for the people in these mining communities who are waiting to see that promise fulfilled, mm. they would be interested in knowing how the 30 percent allocation to them fits I, in this ajapa conversation so, so daniel what i'm saying to you is that there is a vehicle being promoted to raise revenue for this country that is a separate conversation from the political promise of the party and the why government. is it separate because I'm, I'm here to discuss policy with you yeah you understand but so that I'm not should also to, have been i at agree the policy but table. I, I agree I'm, I'm saying that i'm not here to discuss manifesto with you i'm here to di dis discuss ajapa with you whether or not the the structure that is being promoted right. um, is is a departure or not? That's not the fulcrum of what. Uh, you but know, that's what Japan civil society is saying. That's that, that's what that's what Mr. Boateng has said about twice on the on the platform but, but, today. But that is a question that is outside of the policy discussion of Japan, because uh, the manifesto promise of the MPP is being implemented at at a different level. But we're talking presently about the constraints we have with Japan. And the confusion that occasioned the press conference and the other discussions around the subject. We have to end the I just find it, no, 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 but final, I, final comments. Yes, yes, but I just find it uh, interesting to come to conflict that because then there are other issues. He, he keeps saying that in their statement, I he, he appears to have read. Speaking on that same show, uh, Mr. Ahiaba claimed the CSOs are holding government to ransom. Civil society organization, especially of the kind in policy making, um, did not originate in Ghana. We know how they work, okay? They don't hold government to ransom. They do policy briefs, they do policy suggestions and submit it. Government consider it within the framework of it mandate to the people. It's not as if government should stop because there are policy think tanks. No, that's, that's not how it works. So if they have ideas, and government has gone through the appropriate governance channel to promote a law and advance the interests of uh, Ghanaians. It is an advisory role that we play. We don't hold the, 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 the process to ransom. And so the suggestion, though it's within their rights to make, does not mean that the country should stop running. They at this point have not pointed to anything. It refers to the MPP manifesto. That is one thing. It does, it does not indicate that a deal is bad. Let's put the issues where they belong. Mm. Yes, by all means, uh, policy think tanks must engage, and we're engaging, but it doesn't mean we bastardize the thing, call it a bad name, just because we have not been asked or our inputs have not been accepted, or we think that the way we would have done it is not how it's been done.